Hi friends! I thought I would share with you a little uh, fun activity to do at home if you feel like getting a little messy. Um, this can get a lot messy or not, depending. But what you will need is some paper, regular paper, a stack of it preferably, a bucket that essentially holds the paper. You could, If you have a small bucket, you could always cut the paper in half. Um, and preferably, it doesn't have to be so deep, but you'll discover why it's nice to have it deep. Um, if you have older kids, like, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, you can go shallower probably, but for the younger kiddos, it's probably better to have a big bucket if you don't want everything going everywhere. Um, I have a tray here, which is really handy that I had just gotten at um, our local grocery store one season they were selling these plastic trays that have different um, units i love this you could also use you know individual cups and maybe a plate you don't necessarily need a plate but um, i like to have it on something some spoons or maybe tweezers um, or tongs and some paint whatever color paints you want um, i'm using tempera paint um, which is washable. Um, you could certainly use acrylic if you wanted to or oil if you wanted to try that. Um, probably even liquid watercolors probably would work. Um, I find these work great. I squirted a little paint in each uh, unit and you're also going to want some things that roll. So I have some big marbles um, and golf balls, little marbles. Um, and you're going to want to put some in the paint, try to roll them around in the paint a bit, and then let the fun begin. Um, you're going to want to get the rolly things. I suppose you could try cars. If you had cars, little cars, you could roll them through the paint. That's fun. Um, what, whatever you want to use that rolls is great. Or you could try things that don't roll. You could try anything at all. Um, so what you're going to do is in your bucket, you're going to put the paper and then you're going to have the kids stir these things and then choose what colors and how many marbles or balls they want. And you just dump them in and then you roll away. and you can do as many as you want. Um, the other thing you can do to make sure the marbles don't uh, cross color, if you want to keep that separate for in there, um, sometimes I'll have just a little bucket of soapy water and once the marbles have been used, I just wash them off super quick um, and then put them back in here. Um, but that's a super easy, fun, simple activity. Uh, that's great for fine motor um, science of the mixing of colors, what colors come out, um, all sorts of physics, motion, rolling, how do you get the balls without touching them uh, to go from side to side, front to back, that sort of thing. Uh, so anyway, have fun.